What's up everybody? Welcome to another episode of Serving Fayetteville. And today I'm gonna to talk about four reasons you should not move to North Carolina. Four reasons. The first reason is let's address the big pink elephant in the room, the crime right here in Fayetteville, North Carolina. As you can see, I'm inside the Unified Crime Report. Um, and what they do is they break it down by states and they break it down by cities. So you can um, go on this website, it's, it's uh, public knowledge and you can find out um, how the stats and we're going to go scroll down some a little bit so as you look at violent crime um, you can as you see the obviously the crime shot up like a rocket over here so in 2019 this is the latest reports they have just over 18 or say almost 1900 violent crimes were reported and just above 400 were solved and probably crime as you can see 7,454 probably crimes reported and uh, just over 7,501 7, offenses uh, the Fayetteville Police Department website as you can see up here Fayetteville Police Department and I'll leave of course this link below and we're going to go into crime mapping um, so when you go on this just go into crime mapping as you can see, for this year in 2021, um, we've had 65 crimes against persons reported, 140 crimes against property, crimes against society is about 12%, all other offenses, and that's probably going to be like traffic stuff. Say you wanted to see a certain area, say you were going to move to, um, well, let's just type in them all, 5000 Wellington Road. You want to see this I don't know how far um, so we'll, we'll say we'll say just at a mile but it tells you where all the crimes are committed near the mall so as you can see here drag this out and you can see um, this neighborhood pretty small neighborhood but it's um no crime was committed in there this year so far um, I'm sure you can go back to 2020 or 2019. Um, I don't know how you would do that. Um, you need to look around this on this website yourself and figure out if you want to go back farther. All of those um, links I just went on to, I will definitely put in the description below. So if you want to check them out, uh, give me a description below. The next question is this: Why is the crime crime rate so bad in Fayetteville? Um, I've been a cop for I was a cop for 20 years at a Fayetteville Police Department. Um, I lived here for over 30 years, um, so I guess I'm used to the area. Um, maybe that's a bad thing to say, um, but I'm used to it. Uh, to me, it's not that bad. I live in Hope Mills, so a little farther away from, from all the um, crime and bad areas of Fayetteville, that, some of the bad areas of Fayetteville. But the only thing I, I can, uh, just my personal opinion, um, the crime, why the crime is so bad here is because our, jo our job market is not very good here. Um, and that's my number two reason why not to uh, move the Fayetteville, the, the job market. So let's get right into the job market. The job market for Fayetteville is horrible. Um, unless you're a soldier stationed at Fort Bragg or a um, civilian stationed at Fort Bragg, getting a job here, a good paying job here is very hard. Um, I was um, fortunate enough to get on the Fayetteville Police Department, I was there for 20 years. So I have very good job security, um, and I love being a police officer here. Um, my wife is a school teacher, but for the most part, like I said, unless you're a soldier or a civilian contractor, um, not a lot of jobs here. We don't have, I think we have, we have Kelly Springfield um, Tire Company, which is here. We've got Pure Later Plant that is here. Other than that, that is about hit it um, for, for good jobs around the area. According to Wallet Hub, Fayetteville ranked at 181 spots of 182 cities with the worst job market. So we were second to dead last for the job market. So if you're looking to move to Fayetteville, the cost of living here is good, but you've got to find a good job um, to match where you're at now. Let's get right into the third reason you should not move to Fayetteville. If you are looking for something to do in Fayetteville, there's not much here. Um, we're a medium-sized city, population of about just over 200,000. 
Um, if it wasn't for Fort Bragg, we probably wouldn't even be on the map. So people think Fayetteville, they think of Fort Bragg most of the time. Um, just because of how large uh, Fort Bragg is. It's the largest military base on the East Coast. I think almost the world, if I'm correct. Um, but there's not a lot of things to do here. I mean, we, we do have some nice restaurants. We have, um, they just built a minor league baseball team, the Fayetteville Woodpeckers. So um, depending on when you watch this video, because uh, of COVID, um, they are starting the, um, the, the lineup again for, for, for the baseball game. So that's great. Uh, they're trying to re revitalize downtown. They're doing a pretty good job of it, just taking some time. But um, downtown's looking very nice now. Um, a lot of things to do downtown, but it's still, you know, not a very hip hopping area, I guess I'd say, um, compared to other cities like uh, Raleigh, Durham area. So if you're looking to move to Fayetteville for the nightlife and a lot of activities to do, unfortunately, there's not a lot here. Don't get me wrong. Um, we do have nice restaurants. We do have the downtown area. We've got, um, you know, a lot of activity for the kids. They've got a lot of trampoline places for the kids. Got some nice movie theaters. And we do have one um, IMAX movie theater here. So um, we get that a couple years ago. Um, so we're, our town is growing. Um, so we're trying to grow into a, we're gonna get more, more, more and more populated. Um, as years go on here, our populations are actually going to grow. Um, they're actually building 295 and um, just get more out in, into the, the country areas where, we're, where the city is starting to expand. We do have a Crown Coliseum here, um, but we have not a lot of events there that are, that are um, very, I guess, popping or whatever the case is. We even had a, I can't think of the last time we had a big name um, person come here for, for a concert. Uh, I know it's the middle of COVID, but over the years, I've lived here for 30, over 30 years, and I can't remember the last time we had a big event here. I think the last time um, they had WWE here <laughs> wrestling, um, big wrestling fan, is uh, I'd say ah, four, five, six years ago, maybe, um, a live event, um, like um, you know something live on TV like Raw or SmackDown. But uh, last time we've had a big event, um, not here. So definitely not a big nightlife um, or things to do area. So we have a lot of rural areas out here. So if you're not, if you want that city life, don't move to Fayetteville. Uh, we don't have it here. It's all country. We have a lot of people who've lived here for many, many years um, who love to hunt, fish, um, go out hiking, stuff like that. So it's, you know, if you want that country life and you want that house with 20, 30, 10, 20 acres of land, um, then definitely move to Fayetteville. You'll get that. You'll get plenty of land. You'll get a nice house out there in the country. Where no one will bother you. And that's what a lot of people like. Um, but don't move here if you're looking for that big city life because it's not here. If you enjoyed this video, please check out this video right here where I talk about the cost of living in Fayetteville. And if you are looking to buy or sell in the Fayetteville area, please reach out to me. Love to help you. My name is James Walker. And thank you for watching another episode of Serving Fayetteville. See you guys in the next video.